Why does rainwater work so good? Well, let's get into the science of it. Hello Canadian gardeners, cold climate gardeners, and gardeners of the extremes. How are you guys doing today? If you are new around here, my name is Ashley. I am a soil scientist and on this channel we take the science and we apply it to gardening and plant care. So if you like the sounds of that, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We have a welcoming committee. Mr. Deeds is pretty much on every video and he will be more than happy to introduce himself and say hi. Mr. Deeds, keep it up. If you are returning, I am so grateful for you guys. Um, my watch time, subscribers, all that stuff has gone up astronomically. Um, and because of you, there are some really great things coming in the future with different sponsorships and stuff. So I wanna thank you guys. Um, the channel is not just me, it is also you. So keep it up. Rainwater. We obviously know that after three days of rain that things tend to look a lot greener. We have new foliage, we have more foliage. Number one reason why rainwater seems to amplify plant growth so much is because rainwater is soft, so it is salt free and mineral free. This is actually really beneficial because when it falls on the leaves we don't run into any water spots or um, build up on the leaf and it also benefits the roots as we know salt is very harmful to plants but rainwater while it has some doesn't have an abundance of it so that is one of the big factors why rainwater is so great for your plants rainwater is also slightly acidic it is slightly below a ph of seven and if we remember from past videos like when we were talking about plant hacks our ph determines what nutrients is available to our plant. So tap water runs a little bit higher, around an eight, and rainwater is running below a seven. So it kind of balances it out and brings it to a neutral level. It temporarily may lower it, giving the plant more access to different types of nutrients it typically wouldn't get, but its pH altering abilities is kind of one of its highlights. Now tap water typically is above seven. It's around 7.5 to eight. That little bit of a difference can make a difference for your plant. That is the second factor why rainwater is great for your garden. Nitrates. So nitrate is actually a form of nitrogen with oxygens attached to it. This form of nitrogen is one of the most readily available forms of nitrogen for the plant. It is actually the form the plants use to uptake nitrogen into their profile. Now, in order for this to happen in the soil via fertilizers, whether organic or conventional, we need something called the nitrogen cycle. The nitrogen cycle goes through a process through decomposition and microbes to get it in nitrogen into a usable form for the plant. Now, rainwater, as it comes down, we already know that our atmosphere is made up over 70% nitrogen. As the rainwater comes down, it captures the nitrogen into the water droplets in the form of nitrite, and then it is used to water the plants. So think of it as a very gentle yet effective fertilizer when it's raining. Temperature. Now this one isn't talked about. I never heard it in any of the research that I was doing, but I firmly believe this is the case, especially here in Canada or in cold climates. When we water from the tap, we generally have cold water. Have you ever gotten splashed with water from the hose and thought, holy mackerel, that's cold? Your plant is probably thinking the same thing. So with rainwater, it's actually kind of the ambient temperature of the outside. Sometimes it can be a warmer rain, sometimes it can be slightly cooler, but overall it's usually above the temperature of the water coming out of the tap. Now, if you watch my video on how to reduce stress on your seedlings and how to get strong seedlings, I do recommend watering with water that is at room temperature, leaving it in a bucket, for example. Rainwater is the same idea, but for your plants when they are full grown, it doesn't trigger any sort of shock and it doesn't trigger them to go into a life cycle. So I do believe that the temperature of the rainwater is also very important. Now, because it is soft, because it has an acidity that is ideal for plants, it has nitrite in the actual profile of the water and the temperature, it may be advantageous to catch rainwater. 
Now, I don't do this at my house, although I really should. You can put rain barrels out as long as they are food safe plastic. Recycle numbers one, two, four, and five, you will be okay using this rainwater to water your plants. I highly recommend it. While nitrite will slowly decrease in the water, it is going to be beneficial just because of how soft it is and its natural pH. Now, because this is a channel dedicated to gardening in Canada and in cold climates, we should mention the fact that you can use snow. Yes, snow. My mother-in-law does this all the time to water her indoor plants, actually. And what she does is she takes a Rubbermaid, she simply fills it up with snow from outside, and then she brings it indoors and allows it to melt and come up to ambient room temperature. Then she uses it to water her plants. And let me tell you, you can tell she uses snow from outside to water her indoor plants because they are huge and happy. So this is another option. Of course, make sure it's white and not a different color and try to stay away from snow that's near roadways. Pick something that's in your backyard or farther up towards your house. You don't want road salts, obviously. Snow is going to provide the same benefits. It's going to be soft, it's going to have a neutral pH, and you're also going to be watering with that ambient temperature. Now the nitrate profile may be slightly lower and that's just because of, again, the nitrogen cycle and how it works, but I heavily encourage you to give this a try. Not only is it environmentally friendly and conserving water, but it is also great for your plants. So I hope that explains some of the science behind why rainwater is so great for your plants and let me know down below if you've tried the snow trick if you are in a cold climate i never have although i've known about it for years i just i'm an indoor person in the winter i hate the cold unless i'm on a skidoo but that's just my personal preference i'm not going into snowbank to get water but i do yeah i mean marion flowers it plants indoors they are pretty pretty insane looking so uh, it's definitely an option, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Penny has spent the whole video on my lap purring, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Penny is very interested in introducing herself. This is Penny. Yay, yeah, she's my uh, friendly stray. Oh hey there, are you still watching? Make sure to hit that subscribe button for some more awesome plant videos.